Uh, Michael, you talked about how much our globalised, industrialised, increasingly petroleum-based food supply is contributing to climate change and greenhouse gas emissions. And therefore, if we're serious about climate change, we're going to have to change the way we produce. That's right. It's food is it, food is about twenty percent of the problem. Uh, as much as big a part of the problem as say world transportation systems. So if we're really serious about tackling climate change, we're going to have to take a very hard look at the food system and basically wean it from fossil fuel to the extent we can. We're using absurd amounts of, of energy to move food around the world. I mean, today in America, if you buy um, uh, salmon from Alaska, a very sustainable fishery, by the way, um, that salmon typically is shipped to China to be filleted and then back to the United States. This makes no sense at all. California exports tomatoes to Mexico and imports tomatoes from Mexico. Um, so there are all these kind of absurd loops uh, that we have to take a hard look at. If you go back 100 years, uh, with, you could produce two calories of food for every one calorie of fossil fuel you put into the system. And that was usually just for tractors and things like that, farm equipment. Today, in the United States, it takes 10 calories of fossil fuel to produce one calorie of food. That is a deeply unsustainable uh, situation. Um, the vegetation of this planet developed and acquired its basic characteristics in an atmosphere that had much more CO2 than that of the present. And logic would therefore tell you that if you have more CO2 in the air, plants will do better. And in fact, this is exactly true. For the past three years, Dr. Idso has been growing sour orange trees in enclosures containing double the amount of CO2 than normal. The carbon dioxide enriched air is continuously pumped into the chambers and escapes up through the top. At the same time, identical trees are kept in exactly the same conditions, but are fed normal air only. These trees are planted directly into the ground. This chamber here is getting twice the normal amount of carbon dioxide as what is in the atmosphere. You see the trees are growing quite well. They're taller than we are. Over here is a companion chamber that is receiving only ambient or normal air. And the trees here are only half as big as the trees in the, in the enriched chamber. The uh, enriched trees have 180% more volume in their trunks and branches than do the trees in the, in the normal CO2 chamber.